Hi everybody, this is Tim Knight from Slope of Hope with a uh, first ever two-part video because usually I just blast through these things with like one second to spare. But um, I, I have more to say than normal and so I'm going to take it at a more leisurely pace. And uh, I'm going to leave this post up probably until the end of Saturday at least because um, I think it deserves some airtime. Uh, first, for those of you who don't understand what this image is that you're looking at, uh, this is the cover of the June 1997 Wired magazine. It seems incredible to believe, but back then, uh, Apple was seen as a goner, pretty much. Uh, hence the uh, Sacre de Coeur uh, uh, emblem here with the prey beneath. People thought Apple was dead. And uh, for, just for kicks, take a time machine, hop in, go back to June 1997, and tell them that Apple Computer had more cash than the United States government. You're going to get some glances and glares, but you speak the truth. It, it, it would be like me saying that uh, Pandora in 10 years would be bigger than all the television networks combined. Uh, actually, that's less an incredible statement than, than the Apple thing, but just... We live in really odd times, really odd times. Um, I mean, so, <clears throat> how about that? Uh, this is my blog, as you know. These are the ads I'd like you to click because I'm actually changing uh, ad platforms. So if you get one last chance to say farewell to Google ads, click away, see what's out there. But I also wanted to mention uh, more shameless commerce here, which is, um, for, for those who haven't really gotten this through their, uh, through their slopey heads, uh, I've got a new book out now. The Slope of Hope Bathroom Reader, which I hope the title's not gross to anybody. It's meant to be sort of lighthearted. And as far as what's in it, um, it's basically uh, kind of the best of slope over the past few years. It's certainly not commentary about, this is what happened on the market today. That'd be kind of a waste of time. It's just more general social observations and musings on my part. And you can buy it by clicking there. And that'll whisk you off to uh, a page which you can't really see because my screen's too big for this. Anyway, um, check it out. It's 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 actually quite a good book, and it's only fourteen ninety five. So I think those of you who are interested in the blog would find it worth your while. Um, last thought before I get into the charts is uh, it occurred to me uh, today. I was trying to think of when the last time is the nation was sort of gripped by a decision at the federal level. Uh, and I, I, my opinion is that it was back about 10 years ago with the uh, Bush-Gore Supreme Court vote dimpled Chad thing. Uh, this is just a really weird circumstance we're in right now in which everyone's sort of waiting at the edge of their seats for what the government is going to do. And um, yeah, it's I, I'll be glad when it's over. I will really, really, really be glad when it's over. I keep saying that for all these crises we go through. I'm sick of crises. I just want charts. I mean, all this Greek parliament and U.S. government debt ceiling, all this, I just, um, I can't tell you how tired I am of it. So I hope my weariness is enough to persuade the entire world to change. Um, ha -ha. So let's look at some index charts and uh, we'll see how far we get and then we'll just, you have to watch the intermission. That's required. You have to watch the intermission video, and then you'll watch the second part. But let me just go through these. I've scribbled some down, kind of in alphabetical order. Uh, and these are sort of longish term to give us a bit of perspective. Here's the NASDAQ composite. Um, it has had a, over the past two years, extremely strong rally, really interrupted only by last summer's Euro crisis. Uh, and so you can sort of see the stalling here and we've got our latest stalling right here um, until very recently this was at new decade plus highs incredibly enough um, I mean gosh it was only just you know today's July 29th it was July 7th that uh, we were uh, pretty much at the highest we've been since like 2001 uh, but the thing that I have found maddening about this market is just these, and I, I know I mention this every video, but my God, I mean, it's this is just nuts. I mean, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's just like a chop fest. Whether you're looking at a daily chart or even a minute by minute chart, it's just a chop fest. Now, I'm hoping, 
bear that I am that the the reason we're so choppy right now is that the market a la this area is really just struggling to make a top uh, bottoms tend to be as in here and here kind of instant and dramatic uh, whereas tops tend to be just agonizing and slow and horrible and I think those three adjectives sum up pretty much this entire year from my perspective as far as trading it's been a total total grind uh, one very important chart that I've pointed out before that I just think is important enough to point out again is, is this one of the gold bugs index. The parallels between what we saw here and what we're seeing here to me are striking. Uh, this peak, basing, head and shoulders, plunge, peak, basing, head and shoulders, and we're in the right shoulder right now, and please God, a plunge right after here. Um, if this analog holds, we are about in July 2008 right now. And if you think back to July 2008, things are kind of weird and scary, but certainly not, you know, full gung-ho bear market or anything like that. that. That didn't happen for a few more months. But we are, you know, in this vicinity, kind of in right shoulder formation land. And, you know, going back to the whole agonizing thing, you can see just how long this took. I mean, this was a, this was a uh, kind of a, how long did this last? About a, a year, over a year. It took some time. So that's kind of what we're going through uh, right now. But dollar HUI, I think, is uh, very important. Now, the, the sort of accepted wisdom out there seems to be, you know, as I look at my list, this might be three videos. This is getting long. Um, the accepted wisdom seems to be that <clears throat> the following will happen next week or even this weekend. Uh, a deal will be made. The market will rally like mad and life will go on. Uh, something along those lines. That, I suppose, is why, you know, anytime even a glimmer of hope was offered today that the market just shot higher. Um, so that's the accepted wisdom. We'll see if it holds true or not. From a charting perspective, a bounce certainly makes a certain amount of sense. I mean, here's the mid cap, and, you know, we've got a nice hammer formed today. Uh, it approached but did not meet the lows from March and June. So the idea of this thing kind of going chugga, chugga, chugga up again for the billionth time uh, makes complete sense from a chart perspective. The same holds true if you look, for example, at the dollar NDX, the NASDAQ 100. Uh, zooming in on this, uh, a certain amount of room here for uh, a push higher. Indeed, with all the uh, horrible, awful news, uh, didn't even come close to the lows as re recently as July 18. So, you know, the, the only selling managed to do is just kind of inch it down, uh, not anywhere near the lows from just a couple of weeks ago. So a fair amount of, uh, of support. And indeed, we still have this inverted head and shoulders pattern very much intact. Uh, but as I had mentioned when we were up here, um, th there's no real breakout yet. It's just sort of uh, sign waving up to that uh, to that resistance line, and you know. So we were up here, and then in just three days, it sort of like you know fell to pieces uh, again. Uh, dollar OEX, the S and P 100. Um, these again are kind of long term perspectives. We zoom into this. And uh, this is not, this isn't of the tilt that the NASDAQ does. It's not quite as strong. So as it, as it sort of reaches for these highs, it's, it's not besting itself. It's really just matching this 603.39 level almost to the penny again and again and again. So uh, real tug of war going on in this case, you know, seriously, since Christmas of last year, just an absolute battle uh, back and forth. Uh, and of course, very importantly, uh, the S&P 500, which has been a little stronger relatively to the uh, OEX 100. Uh, but a rally next week, which, as you'll see in the next video, I'd really kind of like, uh, would have trouble getting past the 1350-ish kind of area. So I'm at the end of my time, but the video goes on. So we'll watch the intermission, and I'll see you in part two.